Today in the Daily Dose, the Man Gulch Fire of 1949. In the early 1940s, the U.S. Forest Service created an elite team of smoke jumpers who parachuted into remote wildfires, which turned sadly tragic on August the 5th, 1949, when on a broiling hot day 20 miles from Helena, Montana, a fire was reported in Man Gulch. In response, 15 smoke jumpers, most between the ages of 17 and 23, flew 120 miles from Missoula to attack the fire from the ground. Landing safely at 4.10 p.m., they hiked down into Man Gulch with their heavy packs and Pulaski axes strapped to their backs, splitting into smaller units for the attack on the reported grass fire. Their plan was to fight the fire with the Missouri River and a tributary creek to their backs, which would also second as their escape route. But when they forded the creek, they found themselves trapped by a wall of flames 30 feet high. The fire had a tailwind of 30 to 40 miles an hour, and since their only escape route was up and over a 76% mountain grade, they found themselves heavily burdened with their equipment as well as trapped by rapidly advancing flames moving at seven miles an hour. Ten young smoke jumpers would perish shortly before 6 p.m., while five made it over the top of the ridge by abandoning their heavy packs and axes. Two survivors would later pass away from their burns, while 33-year-old foreman Wag Dodge would create a brush fire tactic now known as an escape fire. Nearing 6 p.m., with the fire just minutes from burning him alive, Dodge lit a backfire up the hill he needed to climb, and as his backfire burned the grass in his intended escape route, he walked into it, covered his face with a wet towel, and laid down face first on the ground. Dodge heard and felt the main fire passing by on either side of him, but he survived the ordeal miraculously unscathed. Until that moment, there had been no history of a firefighter having done such a maneuver, but escape fires are now considered an accepted strategy in the fight against grass fires. Dodge's survival so captivated the writer Norman McLean, author of A River Runs Through It, that he wrote a second book about the Man Gulch Fire, entitled Young Men in Fire, making the Man Gulch Fire a tragic yet pioneering event in firefighting history. And there you have it, the Man Gulch Fire of 1949. Today in the Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with the Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague, particularly the dumb ones that don't know Jack. <laughs>